This video shows a cloud server. It is reliable, it is scalable and has a central database. By reliable I mean that if any of the server crashes, the whole system would still keep on working. By say, scalable I mean that at any point of time we can add more uh, resources to the system. And by central database I mean that all the files are stored in one central database and any client can use any file. The working of the cloud server is as follows. The prime, these are three primary server windows which connect to the cloud server with the help of the IP address. Primary servers are nothing but the application servers. As you can see, three unoccupied primary servers are present on the cloud window. Now what I'll be doing is, I'll be starting a primary server on another computer. These computers are connected to each other with the help of LAN. Now you'll see there would be four un unoccupied servers on the cloud server window. Now what I'll be doing is, I'll be starting a client on one system and giving it the IP address of the cloud server and the port number of the cloud server and it would connect to the cloud server. As soon as it connects to the cloud server, it, it can use any application coded on the server. Now you can see the cloud window. It has the IP address of this client and one occupied server. Now the uh, client can use any application which it wants without any problem. Now what I'll be doing is I'll be connecting two more clients and running all the three clients at the same time. So there can be multiple clients which can be connected to the server at one point of time and there are multiple servers which are connected to the server. Here what I'm doing is I'm providing the IP address of the cloud server and connecting the second client to the cloud server. Now I'll be connecting the third client in the same manner, providing the IP address of the cloud server and the port number of the cloud server to, to connect it to the cloud server. Now you'll see that on the cloud server window, one after the other, the two IP addresses would appear. These IP addresses are connected to the cloud server, not to the primary servers. The primary servers have a different port number. The cloud server has the idea of the primary servers and directs the clients to any of the primary servers without the knowledge of the clients. Now as you can see, the two, primary, uh, the two clients are connected one after the other. And now I'm using all the three clients simultaneously using all the applications without any problem. This is the second client and this is the third client. Both are working one simultaneously with the help of threading. Now what I'll be doing is I'll be connecting a fourth client to the cloud server and trying to use it. As you can remember the three primary servers which were running on one system and one primary server which was running on another system are serving these four clients. So if these clients work in the same manner without, uh, without any deviation in the data which is retrieved or stored, this means that the primary servers are picking up data from the central server. As you can see, I'm putting in the file name and if the data appears, which me it means that the primary server has taken the data from the central database and the processing is being used of the infrastructure on which the cloud server is running. Now what I'll be doing is I'll be showing the uh, reliability of the, of the server. This is done by closing one of the primary servers, which means that one of the server might have crashed. If yet the clients keep on working, the system is working. One or two clients might not work, but that's not a problem. As we can see the first client is working, now we will go to the second client, we are trying to send a file and it does not send the file which means that this is the client which was served by that server and it has crashed. Now we will go to the third client and check if it's working and the similar for the fourth client. The third client is working and so is the fourth line. This means that only one of the clients got crashed and the rest of the system is working properly. Now what I'll be doing is I'll be running a cloud server without any primary servers which means that the cloud server has no interfaces to, uh, to fulfill the requests of the clients. Now I'm starting a client giving it the IP address of the cloud and since there are no resources uh, the client would get connected but none of its application requests would be satisfied as soon as the available applications is clicked a caution message appears that the server is busy and no primary servers are available now what i'll be doing is i'll be running a primary server and adding it to the running cloud which is allocating resources at the runtime this is what we what is scalability now these resources would be allocated to this client and the application which was previously said that a server is busy would now be fulfilled as you can see uh, it clicks on available applications and it starts working this time the message does not appear so this is how scalability has been implemented 
now i'll be showing how encryption and decryption has been done in this code this is a code in which i'll send a file with the help of a encrypted uh, encrypted key and retrieve it with the help of the key now i'm inputting a file i'll encrypt it with the help of a key and again decrypt it with the help of the same key if i am not using the key the cloud will automatically generate a key and encrypt it right now i am using 123 as my key and encrypting the file giving it a file name and sending it to the central server now i'm i'll be retrieving the file i have input the i have inputted the file name and first i'll be inputting a wrong key which would uh, generate a message that the padding is wrong and input the correct key as as you can see the padding is wrong and here is the message now i'll be inputting 123 which is my correct key and the message correct message would appear this would help in securing the data on the public cloud